Hello everyone, Simulator here. I trust you're still all aboard the hype train for the Resident Evil 3 remake. There's a lot to discuss and break down from the trailer and a lot of new screenshots have been released. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. This first image shows Jill, Mikhail and Carlos on the cable car for heading to the clock tower. I don't know how similar this section is going to be to the original, but in the original, oh, it was a palaver. There was a lot of backtracking to get this working. You had to find a fuse, a cable, some oil. There was a lot of backtracking. It was definitely one of the most tedious parts of the original for me, but I'm glad to see it's included again. Hopefully they've rejiggered the issues to fix it. But Kyle uh, can't really tell, he's got some injuries but he doesn't look as bad as he did in the original. So it looks like uh, his character might have some more screen time, thankfully. I love this next image, it's our first proper look at the Nemesis. Uh, I'm not sure what is going on in this image, he's either blown something up or a fire has been lit to prevent him from getting to you. And we can see quite clearly that metal casing does seem to be covering a weak spot, his heart, whatever. I actually really like this image. You you barely notice the nose, uh, to be honest. He looks great. Even like his huge piano teeth aren't that obvious as they were in the cover up. And I guarantee if you bumped into this guy down a dark alley, you would not be hanging around. Alright, here's a close-up of Jill. Uh, I get the impression that this is the beginning of the game. Uh, simply because was it, Jill, Jill was looking in the mirror, and I think this is after the bit in the trailer she says, Oh, my head. So she's obviously either having a bad day, bad headache, or hungover, maybe. These images interested me, the shots of zombie Jill. Uh, some, uh, I've heard some people say that there might be some kind of infected mechanic in Resident Evil 3. I don't think that's true. I think this is PTSD of some kind. Jill's still trying to process everything that went on in the mansion. And think about it, she saw some horrific things there. Um, you'd have to be made of absolute stone to go into a situation like that and not come out with some mental scarring. So that's what I think is going on here. It does seem to be kind of a dream-esque sequence. So, yeah. I think Jill is uh, suffering a bit, bless her. Here's a clean version of the cover art. As we can see, uh, now with the logo out of the way, Nemesis doesn't seem to have a chin. Well, he does, but it's the muscular, fiscal area underneath. He looks amazing. I've really got on board now with this design for the Nemesis. I'm not too sure about the body wrap wrapping with the caution stickers, but overall, he looks amazing, as does Jill and Carlos. Got no complaints with those at all. Here's a proper look at Nikolai looking really happy with himself. He looks smug as hell. I mean, we know he's up, definitely know he's up, up to no good. But I want, really can't wait to see what they've done with his character. He was a piece of work in the original, so I imagine that's going to be amped up a bit. Uh, we're going to see that this man will go to any lengths to succeed in his mission. This image stuck out to me because if you remember in my uh, State of Play speculation video I made a comment saying that uh, there was an image that looked like somebody was in a car about to run the nemesis down. And this image stuck out to me because we see Jill is upside down in a car, possibly with Brad I think. And I think my idea is right, Jill has tried to run nemesis down and as we can see here it hasn't gone too well. 
that's my prediction anyway. I could be completely wrong. Something else could have happened. You know, the city's in chaos at this point, so it could be anything. But, um, yeah, my personal prediction is Jill and Brad in the car try to escape, try to run Nemesis down, and he ends up flipping the car. I suspect this will be the moment where we see Brad die at the hands of the Nemesis. That's my prediction for it. Uh... I'll be interested to know what your predictions are. If you agree with me, if you don't, let me know down below. Now, here's an image that got me very excited. It's very brief in the trailer, but here's our first look at the Hunters. And my God, they have definitely been redesigned slightly. They've really amped up the lizard-like features of them, the reptilian features. Oh god, I am not looking forward to seeing these things in action. They were a pain in the posterior in Resident Evil 3. If you got yourself backed into a corner and there was two of them on you, you were buggered. No sign of the frog hunters yet, but um, they may not even be in the remake. You know, because the crows and the giant spiders were missing from Resident Evil 2, so the frog hunters may not even be in it. I kind of hope they are. But I also really hope they're, they're not, because those sons of bitches could one hit kill you. I mean, they'll just grab you and eat you whole. I mean, that would be pretty cool to, wit to watch as a death scene, but I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Here's a shot of Brad. He seems to be coordinating... Uh, survivors directing them to maybe an area of safety. It does seem like he's had he has a much bigger role this time round in Resident Evil 3, which I'm glad uh, we didn't get to see much of him in the original Resident Evil 3. And by the time we saw him in Resident Evil 2, he was a zombie, so he wasn't he got even less screen time. So it looks like they're fleshing out his character a bit, which is I'm. Um, really happy with I suspect that might be the case you know after they kind of fleshed out Marvin and Kendo in Resident Evil 2 stands to reason they'll do the same for these characters in Resident Evil 3 so I'm expecting more from Brad, Mikhail, uh, Murphy, Tyrell those characters appeared very briefly in the original so and we see Tyrell at least going into the RPD with Carlos so I imagine he ha he's definitely got a bigger role Murphy, not so much, bless him. I love this shot. I'm pretty convinced that's the might be the RPD down at the end of the street. But I love this image. You got Jill standing there and just all these zombie cops heading towards her. I love this image. I'm so excited. It looks like we're getting to see more of the chaos within Raccoon City because we didn't we hardly got to see any of it in Resident Evil 2 because we spend so little time on the streets in in the original anyway. Resident Evil 3 we spend a lot of time on the streets so fingers crossed I want I, I want to see the chaos I want to see Raccoon City going to absolute hell. Here's a close up of Carlos uh his hair doesn't look as it looks a lot better here than it did in the cover art. I'm. It's growing on me actually. I quite like this look for Carlos. Like I said in my last video, much less of a pretty boy as he was in the original, and he looks he looks much more rugged and battle hardened. Much more how I would expect a mercenary to look. Yeah, I've got no issues with Carlos. My boy's looking good. Okay, we've got a shot here of Jill. She's either in the sewers, again, or she's in the water treatment facility. I'm hoping that they've expanded on the areas we saw in the original game and possibly added some new ones in. I don't believe she'll be facing any of the G-mutants, because that was solely a Resident Evil 2 thing. It would be kind of cool if we did see some, it will just bridge Resident Evil 3 and 2 together that much more. Because in, in the original games, it didn't really make much sense for like only Lickers to be in Resident Evil 2 and only Hunters to be in Resident Evil 3. So hopefully there'll be like a crossover of enemies. 
I doubt it, but it's something I would like to see. And before we sign off, this last image was taken off the Xbox achievement list. It shows Jill with Kendo, and it might have something to do, it could possibly be related to the trophy update on Resident Evil 2 Remake, Chasing Jill, read a letter left by Jill. This So far, this trophy hasn't gone live on Remake 2 just yet. They're probably going to wait until the game next updates and or they have uh, close to the time of the Resident Evil 3 Remake. Some people are speculating that this could... That the Resident Evil 2 DLC that's been rumoured could be heavily tied in to Resident Evil 3. I'm not si saying yes or no on either way, this is pure speculation at this point, but we've got this image with Jill and Kendo, we've got this new achievement on Resident Evil 2, something with the remake, Resident Evil 2 remake is happening, but we don't know when it's going to be happening. Catch the community manager on Twitter has said that more information will be released soon, so fingers crossed that we do hear something before then. I'm very excited. I'm so very happy right now. Two of my favourite games of all time are back. Well, my favourite franchise of all time is back. I cannot wait for April 3rd. I've already pre-ordered my version on the PS4 and I'm waiting anxiously for the Steam pre-order. I'm hoping to hear some news about a UK Collector's Edition because I, uh, I'm going to be all over that. I didn't get the Collector's Edition for Resident Evil 2. I am determined to get the U uh, to get a collector's edition of Resident Evil 3 if there's one for the UK. I want that Jill statue. I want it. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell icon to stay notified of any future uploads. I've been Sick Blader. This has been a Resident Evil 3 update, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.